Perfect. Hi, right, welcome back again, people of YouTube land. Um, this week I'm bringing you through Oscars raising up their babies from being eggs all the way up to fry, free swimming fry. So at this point you can see they have their eggs on the rock. There's probably, if you want to try and count, probably about two, three hundred of them there. And the really, really white eggs, those ones are infertile. So this is day two. I forgot to record day one, but... This is now day three, and you can see that they're starting to develop their tails. Not all of them, but a lot of them have developed their tails. And there's still a few unfertilized eggs in the rock at this point. But to be honest, Big Boy the male did a very good job of fertilizing. And I'd say there's probably less than 10, 10 eggs in the whole lot that weren't fertilized. There was very few. You can tell them apart by the how white they were that they weren't fertilized. But... Um, yeah, so all of them are pretty much hatched to weakling point now and they're staying in one spot sort of for them the parents will try and keep all their babies together because it just makes their life easier to keep track of them all in one spot um when they uh, the different stages they kind of stick to stuff so when they first lay their eggs the eggs adhere to the rock but when they develop their tails like this then they break away from the rock again and they need to kind of stick them back there which uh they a lot of the time don't really cooperate very well with and as you can see from this angle they're not all on the rock and big boy tends to knock a lot off the rock with his tail but he goes and picks them back up and puts them back on the rock they're, for such big fish they're incredibly gentle picking up their babies they do damage them on the odd occasion but not that often um so um Again, you can see Penny in the background, the, the albino. She's actually hung around picking up babies to put back on the rock. Um, if you're breeding, ever breeding cichlids of any sort and you see the, the, any of the parents doing what you'd think is eating the babies, chances are they're just rounding them up to put them back wherever they want to keep them. Uh, rounding up the stragglers that have gotten too far away. But... Uh, you can see they've all gotten very active at this point and they're all kind of scattered all over the place. That's partially because they're all wiggling, but it's also because of Big Boy's tail slapping them off the rock. This is uh, this is day four. Yeah, day four. Um, and they, 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 the Oscar babies grow very, very fast. Again, you want to provide them food nearly as soon as they hatch and start free, so free swimming. I don't feed I don't feed these guys at all during this week that they're raising these, but you can see now this is day five. And the water they're all cooperating again, they've calmed down. All of them have had their tails hatch out and they're just basically using up the end of the eggs now, which takes another two to three days. Um You know, they the 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 adults will continue to round up any stragglers that wander off and put them back in this pile. Um Again, don't worry about any of this, the, the, the green algae, that's just because of the light and I haven't been able to clean there with them breathing. Um, my light's a fluval light and it's quite powerful and it does cause a lot of algae growth, which causes a lot of maintenance, but normally I would keep that algae off of there, but it's very difficult to do here with them spending all their time down that end of the tank. But, uh, this now, uh, this is day six and at this point they're very 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 close to being free swimming like they, they they're gonna start free swimming literally any day now you can actually i don't know if you can tell the difference in the, the shots the darker ones are going to end up looking like the male and the lighter ones are going to be albinos like the mother so uh, it looks about half and half at the moment it looks like there's less there than there is because of the albino ones don't stand out as much as the dark ones on the on the green but there's still you know a huge amount of them there you can see them all starting to free swim there now there's only a few of them now but in the next bit of footage now you'll see them all starting to move see the piles shifted that's not them that's the pile starting to spend its own time moving around and the parents will follow the follow the group now for the rest of the time 
because once the babies are free swimming they can't really control them anymore so the the adults will still try and keep them together but they kind of follow the main group rather than trying to keep the main group in one spot so next i'll show you a shot of them all free swimming and this is day seven oh, so day seven and that's them all free swimming so the other thing i have to show you in this video is i picked up a new pet this week and i'll show you her eating now she's a beautiful pueblan honduran cross milk snake I think the exact color phase is uh, an apricot pueblin i think is the exact color phase i was looking her up online um she has no water dish in with her there but that's just because i took her out for it took it out for for space to make sure she had enough space because it's quite a large water dish she's only about six inches long right now so she's a lot smaller than it looks like in the video but she's a beautiful snake beautiful temperament as you can see at the start there she really gently took that pinky from my fingers she's <laughs> absolutely adorable um kept tons of snakes in my lifetime this is actually the first time i've ever had a milk snake i've kept king snakes and corn snakes and rat snakes and boas and all sorts over the years i've never had a milk snake until i spotted this one and picked her up and personality wise she is just adorable she's n no interest in biting like most king, king snakes do and she she doesn't even musk uh, like a lot of people told me she probably would um because milk snakes normally apparently musk a lot but this girl is absolutely lovely she she's great to be had great to handle um she actually just she wants to move a lot which you know not great if you're not used to it but she's very okay with being picked up and handled um so i did a time lapse here of her swallowing her food and this will be the end of our video for this week so thank you for watching and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe Perfect. Perfect.